Good morning, everybody. DC here. Um, <clears throat> it's the 17th of the 6th, 2020, and this is um, part two of the uh, magnetic field full spectrum. But, and this includes the uh, magnetic plus the dielectric in relation to the blotch wall or block wall. Um, we've got the diagram here today. Um, uh, for those that were following me, um, my theory goes, or my findings go so far, as we, we've got here a magnet. This, rep, this square or oblong represents a magnet. And then you've got the, the um, dotted red is the north field and the blue, although you can't see it's blue, <laughs> is the south field of the, or pole of the magnet. <clears throat> and here we've got the blotch or block wall and from my last video um, I sort of hinted that I think that uh, the north magnetic flux is totally separate from the south flux and the two don't intermingle and the point of interest for me is here in the middle in the dielectric plane where everything comes very very close together so um, we've got uh, the fields in, uh, uh, of the north magnetic pole here uh, by the dark lines and then the green lines are the interceding dielectric. The, the dielectric field <clears throat> actually runs with the magnetic field but it's at 90 degrees to it as, as I understand it. And um, where the uh, two fields uh, interact with with one another on the face or the strongest point in the magnetic field on the North Pole um, th there's a, a, a point in the center where the dielectric converge so they saw the, the dielectric waves come in and hit the center here and all the time they're narrowing down so you you've perhaps got a, a, a an acceleration of the dielectrics here at this point and then here as it, it it's losing it's losing momentum here uh, which interacts with the magnet magnetic field so you've got the the interchange point is here which this again this is the point of interest here the interchange point so a, a blow up of the interchange point is here on my drawings and the schematics so again We've got the um, the North Pole. We've got uh, the, the the magnetic flux coming in here, which is on the periphery of the bar magnet that points there and there. And then in the center, we've got the returning di dielectric field. And it all pinches down. So this is what I'm trying to make uh, headway on. What I will suggest is that at the point of inertia, which is here, which is the, which is the, the blocked wall, at the point of inertia, in my opinion, the blocked wall or di dielectric field is times two. So it's twice as strong at that point. So you've got a very strong, if you look up the word dielectric, you'll see it's um, classed as, a, as an insulator. So you've got the insulator here and then you've got the North Pole above and the South Pole below. And this to me, this, this opens up, um, it opens a lot, up a lot to me if this is in fact how um, a magnet works. And I was very grateful to Ken Wheeler, he's just done um, a video on, on, on magnetism and uh, it was it was eye-opening in relation to what's happening at the focal point that i'm interested in so that's as far as i've got for the moment folks but i would like to just suggest that if you can imagine um this blotch wall here every, uh, the magnetic flux above the blotch wall is um liable to create pressure so that 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 pressure coming in is um, is the the differential in pressure is what I'm interested in. 
because if that's the case, the how to uh, how two magnets come together with a north and south field, um, it's not uh, what I call um, it's a pushing force rather than a pulling force. If you get my drift, so um, it, again, I can only say that my, I'm, oh, my attention's being directed here, and in some ways this represents gravity as well. If you think about it, I'd like to just stop there because that's where my learning is. But in relation to this magnetic flux and the dielectric flux, um. I've got three donut magnets here. I better not get too close to them because I think I've just ruined a, a mobile phone by getting too close. Um, these donut magnets um, are, the magnetic the magnetic flux on, uh, the, uh, on these magnets, as I suggested from the diagram, c comes here on the edge. But as you go to the center, it's the dielectric return, so there's no magnetism in the centre here, or very little. So, if I get the, I've got some paper, this paper, magnetic paper here, and this this shows where where the blotch wall is. I have to be careful here. <laughs> but get my phone too close. Um, I hope you can see this, folks. As as I as I draw the paper closer in you can see the dielectric plane that's the white line and as I come away the 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 dielectric expands which actually it's the same as the drawing of my drawing now then you put the magnet the other way yeah I've got the north facing side there can't get too close with the phone it might ruin it so you've got the darkness here, which is, is showing up as, as the, the, the magnetism, but here in the middle, you, you can almost see down a tunnel there, and it's very, very interesting how this flux works. Very interesting. So, all I'm saying to you is that there's a lot going on here. So if you can imagine that this, these donut, the donut magnets are, a well and as I bring the phone but not too close you can look down the well here and the the dielectric waves as they're coming in are going down the well so the ether is, is being pulled in down here so if you can imagine the ether's coming in like this and going down there now that takes me to another point which I'm uh, trying with me uh, the coils here, which um, for those of you who remember, I've, I've got some steel scaffold tubes and there's copper uh, winding, 1.3 um, gauge wire, the blue wire. And <clears throat> for those that, that have watched my other videos, remember that I've got a fluorescent tube running through the middle. And what I do here is, is fire 3000 volts through the middle and I'm getting all sorts of funny stuff. But what I'm suggesting now is, is that when I put the magnets on here, because these the, I slip this on here, when I fire um, 3,000 volts through here, it actually disturbs the ether. And if I put this magnet on the end here, some of the ether is dragged in into the well, into the whirlpool, because the, the, the ether's like being disturbed and going into here. And being dragged through and I think that's why I'm getting all this this power or this f major major field out that's coming off this this coil these coils here so that's where I'm up to folks um, I hope you it's of some interest to you and I, I just love doing this I can't put it down and um, hopefully within the very near future I'll be able to get some decent power out of this any suggestions how I, I pull the power out of it are very welcome I'm looking at a couple of things. I'm looking at bringing uh, capacitors in and um, link, linking uh, this wiring up in series. So uh, thanks very much for your time. This is DC signing out.